Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, if you've been following me for a little while now, you'll know that I am absolutely obsessed with using Notion. Uh, if you don't know what Notion is, it is basically a free website or platform that allows you to combine like documents and calendars and notes and checklists and databases and really anything to help you organize your life and your business if you're an entrepreneur. Now for me, I've been using Notion for probably over two years now and uh, it's basically my second brain in life. I organize everything regarding my personal life as well as for Made on Sundays within Notion. And I think in a previous couple of videos, I have actually uh, showcased a little bit of my like dashboard. Um, I also have a video about how I plan brand photo shoots for me and my clients on Notion. I also have another video about how I plan and create my courses on Notion. Uh, but in today's video, I really wanted to focus on how I use Notion to plan and organize my content creation here on YouTube. And honestly, it has changed the whole game for me. I remember starting out on YouTube before and not using Notion and it was just all over the place. I clearly was not consistent, uh, but after I put everything into Notion, now I do all of the ideation, the planning, the scripting, the scheduling, all within one place in Notion. And it has helped me stay so much more consistent in my YouTube journey. So if you are starting a channel or you've already started a channel and you're feeling a little bit all over the place, then this video is for you. Now, before we head into my laptop to start this tutorial, I wanna hear from you in the comments below. What are you using this tutorial for? Are you just starting out your YouTube journey right now? Um, or are you like one year in, you're just feeling like a little bit messy and wanna get more organized? Let me know where you are. I would love to hear from you. All right, let's get started. Hello, hello, welcome to my laptop. I am right now on my home dashboard on my Notion. So this is what my home dashboard looks like currently. It has, you know, all my different things, personal as well as for business. Um, these two kind of categories here on the right hand side is mostly for Made on Sundays. So everything regarding my business. Um, the first section here is my content creation. So anything to do with creating content for YouTube or for Instagram or for my other vlog, as well as for my courses, I actually put it in here too. Um, blogs, all of that. Um, and then everything else that's more administrative regarding my business, I put it under here. So right at the very top here is my YouTube creation hub. So I'm gonna head into that. And this is what we are going to be exploring in detail right now. So every time I wanna create a new video, I go into the space and right at the very top is the link to my YouTube channel so that I have that quickly. Um, right here under it is the most important part of this uh, template and it is my why. So um, if you're unfamiliar with what your why means. It just means what is the underlying intention or reason for starting this project, or in this case, this YouTube channel. For my personal why is to help new entrepreneurs feel more empowered and confident in their way of showing up in their business. It is a safe and calm space to learn, connect, and feel uplifted that anything is possible. So. This is my why for why I started my YouTube channel. And this is just a quick reminder to me that everything I create on this YouTube channel should really like lead up to this purpose. So if the content I'm creating doesn't help people feel more empowered, doesn't help people feel more confident, or if it's not a calm space or whatever it is, it's not, uh, really leading up to this why, then it doesn't belong on my channel. So 
I think it's so important for every channel to have their why so that it makes sure that all of your content is leading up to a real purpose, a driving force. Anyways, all right, so we have our main database here. And basically, um, I've created this template where um, I have this database of the video title. So it does, ne that does not necessarily need to be the actual title, but more so the video topic, I guess. Um, so every time I come up with a new idea for a video, I will type it into this space here. Um, whether I pull through, fall through with them or not, I'll just, this is more like an ideation space. And then once I put that there, I will then usually tag it. So I've created a tag um, here. And once I click on this space, I can tag into all of these different categories. So these are kind of all of the main categories of my YouTube channel. So everything will most likely fall within one of these categories. Um, and then status is uh, where I'm at in that stage right now. So if it's unlabeled, it means that I'm not planning to film this video just yet in the next month. Um, basically at the end of almost every month. So right now is November 25th. So I'm planning all of my December videos right now. I will go into my list of ideas and I'll be like, okay, I think I'll do this video right now. I'll do this video. For example, right now I am filming um, this video right now, how, how I organize my YouTube creation on Notion. So basically I've went in and clearly I wrote the script. So after I finish filming this video, I'll switch this to filmed. And that's when I'll know that that video is already filmed and it's ready for editing. Um, when I put idea that just gives me an indication that this is a potential video for the next month. So let's say I, I like this idea. I'll just kind of flag it so that I know that these are the ideas that I need to write scripts for. Um, the next category, I don't always fill this out, but I really should. And it is basically once I have the video decided on which month it'll go out in, I'll basically write down just the month here. So for example, this one will be December, 2022 and then December, 2022. So I'll label these just so I remember which month this is for. Um, and then I'll also put my filming dates. So for example, this video was today. Um, then I'll put that filming date here and then I'll also label it for when I'm planning to publish this. So for example, if this is going to be published next week, I publish almost every single Thursday. So this might go on either the first or the eighth. I haven't decided yet, but let's say it's going to be the first, then I'll put that there. And then once the video is published, I'll also be able to have a space to put the link of the YouTube uh, video there as well. Now, why don't we go through the process of um, what I do when I want to start a new video. So every time I'm ready to start a new video, I will go in here and I will basically open this up into a new page and I'll write down the topic of the video. Let's say this is how to film a YouTube video is the next video topic. Then I'll go into this space and I'll fill out whatever I can. Um, and then I've created a template here uh, called YouTube scripts. So you can do the same by just adding a new template. Um, and I have different sections here that I've created. So the first section is just a plain like idea section. So this is like my notes, like let's say, I had this idea because I wanted to showcase a course that I just came out, or maybe I have certain ideas about how I want it to be filmed or, um, I don't know, whatever. Maybe I watched something on YouTube and I want to create something similar to my, but in my style, I might put the link of that YouTube video here so that I have that on hand. Um, so it's just kind of like a free write section. And then the next section is I t 
title ideas. So usually I'll write a couple of title ideas for one video, maybe three or four of them. And then I'll do some research into which one will perform better using TubeBuddy. Um, and then I will then choose the one that works the best um, at the end of when I'm ready to publish. And then the next section is my script. So usually most of my videos are structured with an introduction and then I have the tutorial, uh, if it's a tutorial video, and then I'll have a conclusion. And then uh, this section is to make sure that whatever the call to action is for this video, for example, it is a call to action to my course or a call to action to another related video, then I will make sure to put that here to remind myself to say it at some point in the video, whether it's at the end or in the beginning or in the middle. Um, that is a very important thing to include in every video. So I make sure to have a separate section of that here. Um, so that's how I write my script. I don't usually write out like word for word what I'm going to say in a video. Clearly, I am just talking on the whim here. Um, but usually I'll just write some notes. My introduction and my conclusion are usually pretty scripty, um, but in the body content, I just usually write some notes in terms of what I want to include and in what order I want them to be included in, in the video. And then the next section is captions and credits. So if I am, uh, I have, a, let's say I have, um, uh, some stock music uh, that has to be put at the back of this video and I need to credit it, I will make sure that I put it in this section here so that I have it on hand when I need to write my caption. If there's anything specific regarding the caption that I need to include, um, then I'll put those notes in here so that I have it on hand once I am ready to write the uh, caption. If you want, you can actually go ahead and write the caption in here first, and then you can just uh, copy and paste it into YouTube. But I tend to just write it onto YouTube directly, which um, I don't know if the it's the best way to go with. Um, now that I think about it, maybe I should create a template here of my caption and then just rewrite it every time. You know what? I might actually do that. Why don't we do that together, actually? Let me show you what I do. Okay, so. I am going to um, go to my YouTube right now and I'm just going to um, copy and paste one of my captions so that we have a starting point. So I'm going to copy one from my last video and we are going to edit this template. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on new here and when you open a new document, you see how all of these templates uh, kind of pop up. If you want to create a brand new template, you can go ahead and click on this. But if you want to edit your previous template, you can go to edit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy and paste one of my uh, captions here. And every time I want to um, create a new video, now I can just start typing from here. Most of this stays the same because it's just all of my kind of links and resources into this section. So I can just go ahead and just um, make sure that this is a template friendly space. Um, so all I have to do next time is just type it in here, what the video is about, type all my tags, and then I'm ready. So that's really easy. So all you have to do is click out now and go back into this space. And right now it's not going to show because I already um, opened up this template as the old version, but the next video I create, it will show up there. Uh, last but not least is my cover image. So every time I've completed my cover, I will then copy and paste that cover image into this space here and I just have it on hand so I know what cover images I have created in the past. All right, so that is basically what I do every time I create a new video. This has tremendously helped me 
so much in my whole YouTube career. In the last couple of months, I have been so much more consistent with my YouTube channel because of this new Notion template. And I love that it just gives me a space to, you know, basically spit out all of my ideas whenever an idea comes. And then whenever I'm ready at the end of the month to prepare for the next month, I will then just go through my list and see which videos are best to create for that next month. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and learn something new. Uh, by the way, I did actually package up that YouTube creation hub into a Notion template that's now available for purchase in my template shop. So I'm going to put the links in the description below where you can purchase it to get a little head start on your YouTube ideation and organization journey on Notion. Um, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>